Mathieu. Mathieu, you are curator of an exhibition dedicated to scrapbook. Could you tell us? Yes, uh, I was looking when I was working at Cinematheque and I did many exhibitions and I went through archives and I found this really strange object that people name scrapbook, sometimes sketchbook, notebooks, atlas, there's different names about this, but this piece are always about a mix about privacy, process of creation, something that people don't know. It's not a scenario at all. It's not a scenario with the images. It has its own rhythm and story and autonomy. And I really like this object that people usually don't really see, don't really know, because when the artists are alive, they don't really want to share this maybe with the audience. And when they are not there anymore, they are in archives and not easy to know what was the, the goal about them. So. Uh, except if you're a scholar or if you're someone doing research, you will never have access to this kind of object. So the idea was to, you know, to, to, to take them out of their darkness and put them in the light and be able to share it with the audience. And I think it speaks about, uh, you know, how these people... So what are the most remarkable scrapbook in the exhibition? All of them. I have, I have like 15 scrapbooks, original ones and also a lot of reproduction because the issue with the scrapbook is that it's a book so you can't uh, if it's in a vitrine you can't really touch it of course and read it as a book so you need to make reproduction and which i really like and reproduction also photos and a lot of projection and scrapbooks i mean there is one from uh, agnes varda for instance one prop uh, and we have here a friend of agnes varda viva varda <laughs> Oui. And there are also scrapbooks from Pedro Costa, the Portuguese film director. There is one from William Burroughs, who was also very uh, you know, active in cinema in a way, even if he was a writer first, but he was also filmed by Gus Van Sant, for instance, and they worked together, so the movie is there. And a scrapbook is there, a scrapbook from... But what do, what do we learn from that? I think uh, you learn about the way they see the world without any filter because it's, it's an object that doesn't belong to any trade, to any commercial thing. And cinema is a lot about commercial, you need to, to create the desire of a producer. It's an industry. It's an industry and this piece is more like poetry. It's something that has its own you know, poetry with images and words. There's a lot of words, text and for, for instance Pedro Costa was very touching thing because when he did his first movie, his first long feature in uh, 94, Casa de Lava, it was a traditional movie like produced by a producer and with actors, technicians. And during all the shooting, he said that he was doing this scrapbook to, to be saved, to be more coherent to his uh, spirit. So it was something that he didn't want to share to anyone. And after the movie was done, he, he said to himself, I want to make movies like I made scrapbooks, which means uh, to be my own producer, my own, you know, my own director, the, the only person I have to give, uh, you know, explanations to. And so the scrapbook he did only once in his life, but the scrapbook is a metaphor of his transformation, of his metamorphosis to someone who will be like he is now. So this kind of piece is very strong because it tells a story, not only a story on its own, but a story of the, of the uh, trajectory of the filmmaker. And uh, Marie-Laure de Noailles too? Marie-Laure de Noailles, yes. We're very lucky to show one original scrapbook. I think she did 25, 28. And she began making the scrapbooks when she was with her husband producing a surrealistic movie, surrealism movie like the Man Ray movie, the Louis Buñuel movie, a Jean Cocteau movie also in their Villa de Noailles. So she's not a filmmaker as you know, but she was involved in movies and producing movies and had, when she was older in the 60s, she also very close to Pierre Clementi. And yes, and so that's why I choose a page where you can see Pierre Clementi in the scrapbook and a photo of one of his films because she also helped the movie. She was always a, a patron of the arts and she helped the, some very marginal film directors or experimental film directors to, to make movies. So that's also one very important piece for me. There's also Derek Jarman and Stan Brakhage and his wife Jane Woodling who will make scrapbook during the 50s and sh which are a recollection of all the avant-garde of cinema in the US. Uh, 
many others. It's difficult to, to list all of them. It's good. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci.